All right, just got back from the shop in Galt, uh, California. And uh, I got this auto mold bumper that I popped today. And uh, it's looking really good. It's got no imperfections on it that I can see. But I'm still gonna bake it in the sun tomorrow. Make sure I get any air pockets that are hidden. Tiny little bit right there, a little low spot there. That, other than that, it looks really nice. Just gotta sand it down this seam line that runs all the way across. So this is for a customer, his name's Levi. And he ordered it finished, so I gotta sand it, block it out for him. This is just the seam line mold. All that's gonna be uh, angle grinded off. It came out real nice. I'm pretty happy the way it came out. I've been using PVA a lot lately. Normally we, we don't use PVA, but um, I actually talked to uh, Billy Gunter uh, about six months ago, or, or maybe even a, over almost a year ago that I talked to him, and he told me that he uses PVA on all his molds, and usually PVA is only for uh, when you make a, a mold itself, when you're protecting your part, but um, he said he uses it all the time, so I started uh, using PVA, and he's actually right. These things pop out like butter. They don't stick in the mold. I used to use mold uh, wax release. That stuff works, but the PVA, uh, it, it, it's way superior as far as uh, uh, keeping it from sticking into the mold. So I've been using PVA and you can see it, it washes off real easy. You can actually peel it. It's like having a, an extra layer of skin. You see that? That's the PVA. It just peels right off. So glad I've been doing that always learning stuff in this uh, hobby but yeah that's how it looks and uh, tomorrow I'll be finishing it up usually takes me four to six hours to do one of these blocking it and primering it um, just uh, about the time that it takes me to do it um, the more you do the faster you get but I don't like to rush do a two three hour job I like to take my time on it get all the little imperfections out and get it as perfect as I can get it all right this is Jacob at Knight Rider shop uh, talk to you all later